This is a demonstration of resistors in series and in parallel. What I have here is a voltage uh, power supply. I'm going to supply about 12 volts to this half of the circuit. You see all the red wires are all interconnected with each other. So you can think of the voltage here being 12 volts. Then the current passes through all these resistors and comes to this other side of the circuit with the black wires. You can think of this being at zero volts. These everywhere here, they're connected. The voltage must be the same here as here because we're ignoring the internal resistance of these conducting wires. So what happens in between the red and the black is uh, different light bulbs appear here. I've got uh, through this branch of the circuit, this is a junction where different wires come together, another junction, but a branch is, is a path between two junctions in the circuit. We've just got one light bulb. We've got two identical light bulbs in series through this branch of the circuit. And then these, branch, th these parts here, we've got a current coming in here. It splits into two, comes back together again, and comes out this way. So the question is, which bulbs are going to burn the brightest? You can pause the video, make your guess. Um, OK, what do we see? One, two, three bulbs, A, D, and E, all burning with the same brightness. B and C are dimmer, visibly. And why is that? Um, shown here is a, is a diagram of what we have here on the, on the table with the black markings representing all these black wires, the red markings representing all these red wires, and the various resistors denoted in green. If we're interested in the current through this uh, bulb here, bulb A, we can write down Ohm's law, V equals I1 times R, solve for I1, the current in this branch, R is the resistance of this, um, of this resistor. So I1 then is V over R. We plug that into the power equation. Power dissipated in a resistor is I squared times R. And I'm plugging this result into here. That'll be V squared over R squared plugged into here times R, which just gives me V squared over R for the power dissipated in that bulb A. For bulb B, we're going to first have to find the current through this branch of the circuit. I'm calling that I2. And the voltage across this piece of the circuit is I2 times the equivalent resistance through this branch of the circuit. When you have two resistors that are in series with each other, the equivalent resistance is twice the resistance, or as you add up the resistances of these two resistors. They're both the same, so we get twice the resistance of either one of them as the equivalent resistance for this piece. Solving for I2, substituting it into uh, this equation that gives the power dissipated through bulb B. So we'll, we'll substitute in I2. We have to square that. It'll be V squared over 4 times R squared. Plugging it in here with V squared over 4, R squared, we get 1 fourth V squared over R. That's the power dissipated in, in this bulb B. We'll get exactly the same result for the power dissipated in bulb C. But what you'll notice is that the power dissipated in either one of these bulbs is only one quarter of the power dissipated in bulb, bulb A. And you might ask, well, hang on, Dr. Edwards, this is does not making sense to me because I have current coming through this resistor. Shouldn't it use up some of the current? So bulb C should be burning brighter than bulb B because this uses up some of the current. And then that current isn't available to light up bulb B that's in series. 
And that's not the case. And the reason is there's no way for this bulb to use up. It can't use up any current. The, the current that passes through this one has to pass through the other one. Otherwise, there would be a buildup of charge. Current is a charge divided by a time. And uh, a charge divided by time passing through a wire. If it somehow used it up, it would have to go somewhere, but there's nowhere for it to go. And so the current that passes through this one must be the same as the current that passes through this one. And then you might ask, well, how come D and E are burning at the same brightness as A? And the answer there is that these are actually also connected up exactly the same way as bulb A is. Bulb D gets the full 12 volts because it's got a red wire on one side, a black wire on the other side. It gets the full 12 volts of, of power and so does bulb, bulb E. If we had, um, and this, the way that we've written it here gives, shows that there's a parallel connection between D and E. We could have just as well written this equivalently like that. The, the connections as shown here are exactly the same as far as uh, parallel or series is concerned as the way that it was written before. A, D, and E all get the full voltage across them, whereas B and C only get part of the voltage and hence have uh, dissipate less power and are, and are less bright. 